In today's video, we're gonna talk about 16 of the best Blender add-ons for hard surface modeling that can help you make the process of modeling complex hard surfaces much easier and faster. These add-ons range from small tools that can help you do simple stuff to established ones that you can't work without. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Grid Modeler which is a very efficient way to create 3D models in Blender easily. This add-on allows you to create mesh or make boolean cuts by drawing shapes on any object using a fully customizable grid as a canvas. It also features tools such as boolean slicing for cutting your model as if it was literally a piece of cake. It also has powerful shape and area functions, pipe creation, and much more. The add-on is designed for speed modeling whether it is a game asset, building, a hard surface object, or especially when something needs consistent scales and angles. If this is the case, then Grid Modeler is gonna be great for that. Alright, if you are a fan of sci-fi stuff, then a simple sci-fi add-on can help you by leveraging the power of geometry nodes in Blender, and it can help you create sci-fi environments in no time. And with the new version, you have a lot of D-Packs in addition to many collections. Also, a bunch of new K-Pack Kit Bash inserts, a new Dirty Node Group Shader to add more dirt to your scene, also a brand new generator and a panel generator which allows you to create both displacement and geo panels. By the way, Sci-Fi Flex on the other hand is an add-on that uses a similar workflow to simple sci-fi and it can do this with somewhat modified generators which you can apply to faces, edges or vertices to create sci-fi surfaces and panels. However, unlike simple sci-fi, Sci-Fi Flex does not create displacement maps. Next, we have Zen Barbecue from Sergei Tiapkin and his team, the developers of Zen Addons. This add-on is a solution for adding bevels to any object very easily. It works in a non-destructive workflow, allowing you to adjust the bevels of any part of your object differently or bake the bevels into normal maps, which is really interesting. It also includes support for the most commonly used measurement units and features that are very important for engineering style and the hard surface modeling workflow. You may already have heard of the next add-on which is called Rentals. It is an all-in-one add-on that contains several tools for different needs, whether it is hard surface modeling, lighting, texturing, or rendering. For our purposes, we're gonna talk about P-Cutter, which is the most important part of this add-on. It is a very good tool for hard surface modeling and non-destructive modeling in general. It has a smooth learning curve and when you get used to it, you will see a drastic increase in productivity. SP Cutter allows you to do boolean operations on your objects by drawing shapes with full control over their placement in addition to how they look, using alignment tools, snapping to grid, etc. Still around the topic of sci-fi and spaceships, we have an add-on called Starship Generator. It allows you to randomly add sci-fi spaceships to create scenes in Blender, which you can then use in concept art or game development to create background 3D models for animations and video games. In my opinion, this can be a huge time saver and it can increase your productivity tremendously, especially if you do this kind of stuff. You can simply add a Starship model to your scene from the add menu to create different designs by changing a single seed number. You can also change the material of your Starship. Due to its speed and ease of use, this animal will be a huge help, especially as I said for concept artists and game developers. Moving forward, we have a simple but very useful add-on. It is called Face Cutter. It is a modeling tool designed to make the operation of cutting and gun faces easier. Now, you might be wondering what's the difference between this tool and the usual edge loop or knife tool inside Blender, and how it makes cutting faces easier, simply it has additional advantages. It gives you the ability to cut perpendicular lines or rotate them on a selected face by defined snapping points. You need to set the number of division or snapping points, then cut the lines. In simple words, it allows cutting faces not only vertically and horizontally, but you can also rotate the cut line by any angle you want after defining it with two points on the face. Now we're gonna talk about Cable Raider. This is not exactly an add-on that will help you create and edit hard surface models, but it comes very handy if you want to add cables to your projects inside Blender, including hard surface modeling projects such as robots, ships, and so on. You can use this fantastic add-on that can help you do that very easily and in a very short period of time. It has many different features and tools that can be more than enough to create any sorts of cables and manipulate them as you please. Alright, now we're gonna talk about Speedflow, which is a large set of tools that will help you speed up the modeling process in general. 
It isn't fully dedicated to only Hot Travis modeling, but it is worth mentioning because of its numerous tools. Most importantly, it has a cutting tool that makes cutting objects very quick and easy. You can make bullying operations, cuts, and create lines with only a few clicks, in addition to the solidify, turbify, bevel, and other tools that can help you make drastic improvements in the modeling workflow. Now, talking about more established hard surface modeling add-ons, we have Machine Tools, which is a continuously evolving collection of Blender tools and pipe menus in a single customizable package. This add-on is basically a good for functional purposes like working in a 3D view and pipe menus, but there are also features for editing like cleanup mesh, smart faces, and so on. Actually, Machine Tools was created by the same developers of Mesh Machine and Decal Machine, which we're gonna talk about in a couple of minutes. Alright, now we're gonna talk about Fluent, which is one of the most interesting and powerful Blender annals when it comes to hard surface modeling. This is the case because it combines many tools and functions in just one place. When it comes to Boolean operations, Fluent is very good and can do a lot of things such as displaying a snapping grid on object faces or align it on edges to draw in the right direction to quickly create accurate booleans or smart tools that can help you fix and adjust your work. But this is not just it because it can do a whole lot more. For example, you can turn selected faces into a cloth panel which can be useful for many functionalities and situations. You can also connect different pieces of geometry or connectors using cables that can be manipulated according to your needs, whether you want them to be straight, curved or anything else. With a few clicks, you can create pipes or wires between two faces, which is interesting. Also, if you want to create chains, this add-on got you covered, because it has a tool for this too. And if you want to add changes to cables and pipes that you personally made, you can do this too, in order to have more control and freedom when working on your project. In addition to that, you can slide objects along pipes, as well as the ability to add connectors in the right place. And it goes further to allow you to add the ability to unwrap or UV map your models in a short period of time. Also, one popular add-on on this list is gonna be KitOps, which a lot of people choose for hard surface modeling work inside Blender, because you can use it easily to cut and add existing objects, or create standalone objects with the goal of rapidly creating and exploring new designs. The pro version of this add-on comes with a pack that includes more than 300 high-quality inserts that you can use to take your designs and models to the next level, which is really interesting in my opinion and is gonna save you a huge deal of time and most of them were designed by Master Xeon himself, a great modeling artist and developer of popular add-ons such as Box Cutter, which we're gonna talk about in a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna talk about Hard Ops, which is a joint collaboration between the original developer and many other artists, in attempting to streamline a hard surface modeling workflow in Blender. The Annals is one of the best Annals ever for Blender, and this is the case due to the tools and features it offers. To clarify, it can make the process of hard surface modeling easier and faster. Above all, it is used by many professionals in different industries such as filmmaking, video game development, and other fields because the developers of this add-on are frequently and continually updating and fine-tuning the add-on to make it better and better over time. Now we're gonna talk about Decal Machine, which is especially good when it comes to adding mesh decals when detailing hard surface models in a non-committal, non-destructive, uv way. The library of this add-on is very interesting because it contains very beautiful and well-designed decals that can help you work on a wide variety of hard surface projects. And you can even create emissive decals that can look fantastic, especially for sci-fi stuff. In addition to that, you can create your own in case you need something that does not exist in the library. You can do a lot of things with these decals. They can be sliced, projected, and many other things depending on your particular project's needs. Alright, now we're gonna talk about Box Cutter. Probably this one tool is the number one tool for hard surface modeling, especially when it comes to cutting stuff, because it is a very fast and efficient surface cutter. It is an ever-growing and expanding set of tools that can help you save a ton of time, and a lot of people love it, especially since it is optimized to be as fast as humanly possible for Blender users. As you might expect, box cutter's operations are non-destructive, which means that it can guarantee that shapes will be kept alive until you decide to apply them. The tools you can use include cut, slice, inset, join, knife, extract, and more. In addition to other options to personalize your experience to be able to work even faster according to your personalized workflow. 
And now we have Mesh Machine, which is a Blender Mesh modeling add-on with a focus on hard surface modeling work with subdivision surfaces. This is also one of the top choices for hard surface modeling in Blender, especially for creating AAA video game assets or high poly models in general. It has a lot of great features that can make heavy surface modeling work very easy and super efficient, especially if you are working under a deadline or you are creating complex stuff. For example, you have tools such as Fuse and Bevel and Chamfer, Offset, a Boolean cleanup tool and so on. The developer of this add-on has been listening to feedback and suggestions and has added many features and bug fixes and improvements during the last few years, which is making this tool even better and better over time. I hope you found this video useful. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, you can take a look at our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.